friends, Cam here, and we are continuing on our baby conjures little little quest, this adventure. Again, we're just not talking too too much about the yellow quest because they don't exactly make much of a difference. Yeah, I'll just put that off to the side. Murdering some bog garrisons. As we look for people. Trust me, the beginning of combat seems very boring, but we'll get there. Eventually. We're gonna spend a lot of time pressing shift four. Shift four. I don't remember the, where this extra person is, but we'll find him. We will find him. Just you wait. So somewhere around camp, they're not really exactly. Hey, look, something we can, oh, something on our hunting list that we can kill. Water sprites. Water Sprite will die eventually. Get some water shards. Maybe I do have to like venture out just a tad. That guy's doing some botany. Seems. Oh, there he is. Oh. Apparently we missed a water sprite. Water Sprite does not know where it's going. Oh no, it's invulnerable. We'll, f we'll kill it. See me desperately clicking on the thing. So used to the timer of Glare rather than Dia. Seems we are almost done with it. We're just missing Silford swarms and <laughs> some buzzards. There she is. 
got a stick and a shield and we're holding it funny. It's very stiff motion. Uh, where the heart is, lavender buds. The other quests are level five. And we're not gonna be too, too worried about that one, simply for the fact that that is housing and yeah, two, two and a half thousand gold is not the greatest. I'll take the monies, please. You'll notice that we have Mount Roulette. And mounts. But we won't be able to summon mounts anytime soon. That's because to get mounts, that requires you to be like level 30. <laughs> And in a certain point in the main quest line where you uh, join a faction. Which I haven't decided which faction I'm going to join because on my main I am going on my main I'm the Twin Adder uh, and then on my roleplay character they're going to be a maelstrom, so I'm thinking about maybe taking this guy down. The immortal flames. And we found a magic blade! An instance battle. Yeah, this means we can't go in with friends and we have to go in by ourselves and it may or may not limit your level. Excuse me for hitting my mouse. As I Look, someone's already here. As I got some chapstick, it is almost winter. Uh, oh dear, is that a sword in a stump? Bad idea. Really bad idea. It takes a lot less than that to incite the green wrath, you know. Why? The first time we came to the Twelves Wood, is we this almost our ended dark up as a stranger? Tree dinner, just for crashing our airship in the wrong place. It was all no, no, not this fault, of course. Way. Not even Then he'd no. sooner swallow his staff than admit that he's wrong. Hmm. You know him, Kublai Khan? Well, not exactly, but we did once share a carriage. Isn't that right? Readings. Same as the last. There is a disturbance here as well. And newly manifested at that. Kublo Khan seems convinced of your innocence. But if this isn't your doing, whose is it? Ever since the Calamity, the forest's been really sensitive. The slightest disruption to the etheric flow. And this oh. sort of thing happens. Something's very angry. It's a tree. Oh no, it's multiple trees. They're very angry. It seems we have little choice. Oh 
god, that's one big tree! It's a big tree. Start by murdering the small things of the little thaumaturges. Like, do you want to get eaten by her? Oh, yes. Punch the trees. Do the karate. I mean, we're we're just throwing rocks at them, basically. Oh no! We have more angy things, and we don't have an AOE. I value my life. Stay close. Well, I, good thing I don't value my life. Listen, I can cure myself. I don't need you short-tempered thaumaturge to tell me what I can and can't do. No, more. Armageddon! Or, oh. I'm just doing 26 ish damage to it. Oh yeah. We totally did all the work. Very auto me. Oh, we don't even pick it up. It just kind of floats before us. Sort of meteor shower. Crystal bearer. I am Hydalin, all made one. A light there once was. That shone throughout this realm, yet it has since grown dim. 
And as it hath faltered, so hath darkness risen up in its stead, presaging an end to life. For the sake of all, I beseech thee, deliver us from this fate. The power to banish the darkness dwelleth in the crystals of light. Journey forth and lay claim to them. This would be crystal. You fainted. A surfeit of ether, no doubt. Why does he look so fucking smug? Look at that smug face. Hmm. And what have we here? Our culprit, it would seem. An Ixel. And no ordinary Ixel either. A chieftain. That they would venture this deep into enemy territory. The beastmen may indeed be acting under orders. <laughs> this is Papalimo. We found How the are culprit. We feeling, then? It was an Ixal chieftain. Good. Yes, we'll Oops. seek Brother Esumian's cooperation in the matter. Giant crystals? No? Can't oh, say I've loud, seen any. Tactless. Are but you sure you're always. feeling better? Understood. Over and out. Kuploka, please bear word of these developments to Brother Esumian. We shall soon return to give a full report. Understood. Over and out. Uh, that really annoys me, because over means it's over to you, and out means I'm done talking. It should just be out. So like, shh, over, and then conversation, conversation, where we shh, out. Till done. next time, take care. Apple -y. This person's name was Pablo Emo. I think that sword might be a clue. You should definitely pull it out and take it back to the Bannock. Bye. Such an animated wave. You don't suppose that adventurer could see Kuplo Cop, do you? And this occurs to you now? Yes. It seemed that way. Time will tell. Well, time will have to, because you won't. You never tell me what's really going on. Unless... You don't know what's going on either. <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? I'll go 
speed each other up, probably. You just gotta run back. These things aren't going to murder me. Fantastic. I have six or more. It's a, it's a level four. Which I'll probably do the Halloween event for you at some point. Uh, I think it requires me level be fifteen to be level fifteen though, and we are only level eleven. Dusty, it's good to see you. One of our patrols sent word that you have been spotted doing battle with enraged trance. I am relieved to find you none the worse for the experience. But tell me, were you? What were you able to discover at Lifeman's Stump? Displayed. What does this tell you? A sword in the stump and a dead exile. Hmm. I could say with absolute certainty that this blade is of exali origin. It is a kind. It is of a kind used exclusively in the Beastman's rituals. The exali rarely set foot in the central shroud. So guard, so tight is our guard over the area. A purpose could have driven them to take such a risk. I fear something is afoot. What's that? A dubious couple sporting pe peculiar spectacles? <laughs> so you have finally been acquainted, acquainted with Yida and Papa Limo. Lay your suspicions to rest. Gridania accounts them. Among, among her staunchest allies, allies, both are scholars hailing from a distant land and may have been with us since before the calamity. Their garb may appear outlandish, but they're ex and their exchange bafflings, but never once have they given us cause to doubt them. Indeed, they often assist the gods' quiver and the wood whalers. In their work, much as I hope you will in the days to come, Dacian. Although our unknown visitor still eludes, still eludes, unknown visitor eludes us still. <coughs> Owing to your efforts, we have acquired important intelligence on the Ixali threat. You have my gratitude. We are fortunate indeed to have a capable adventurer such as yourself aiding us. Excuse me. I pray we are cons you will continue excuse me, to serve the people of Gridania in whatever ca capacity you are able. Bam. Wow, we're really- we're really only on the level 5 quest! Wow. Dacian. Injuries. Injuries to several of my men have left me shorthanded, and I require a capable sort to complete complete their unfinished duty. The task is simple: put down as many as local ch chigoi population as necessary, and to acquire three of their egg sacs. Having done so, you are to deliver them to Mon Ragwin at Gilbert's Spire. You will answer to any quarries you might have. Now I have other business to attend to. Well, okay then. Fam. We'll do that. We'll go beat up some bugs. Probably should have waited for fighting them. But oh well. What's the 
past is the past. And we are looking to the future. And we knew... Wow, I shouldn't have noomed. <coughs> ah, you must be the adventurer standing in for our injured companions. Terribly unfortunate business, that. Here are your eggy sex. It seems, however, that you had little trouble gathering the egg sacks in their stead. Excellent work. I shall have them sent over to the Trapper's League immediately. Lest you wonder. These egg sacks are not destined for the dinner table. Members of the Twin Adder and the Wood Whalers are assisting the League by collecting samples that they need to check for signs of sickness. The Chigoi, as you see, is one of the few capable creatures of transmitting the disease known as the creeping death. Until recently, any cure who contracted this ghastly illness would almost invariably perish. Indeed, a single outbreak once claimed the life of a third of the Huron population here in Gardania. That was a long time ago, of course. With the medicines available to us now, the creeping death is not the killer it once was. Even so, it's best to halt any new outbreaks before they occur, lest we gather Chigoi eggs on a re regular basis in order to assist the Trapper's League with their ongoing research. Your timely assistance is most appreciated. Oh yes, a free high potion. Which I'm gonna immediately turn around and give to someone else. Such an embarrassing turn of events. I sent a recruit from the Bannock on a surveying expedition, only for the Craven to turn tail and flee the first sight of trouble. This is not how I treat requests from the conjurers, and as if such a poor showing wasn't bad enough, the lily livered half wit left behind the surveying equipment provided by hear her Pauline herself. While well, I intend to instill some backbone into the so-called a soldier, I would... Would you mind recovering the survey gear and returning it to here, Pauline, at Gavinu's Bower? According to my crew's tale of woes, there should be a set of survey records, a surveyor's rope, and two boxes of surveyor's instruments strewn about the interior of a cave to the south of here. <coughs> it's a wonder the damn fool didn't lose his boots. Ahem. <clears throat> Matron, watch over you. I believe this is the guy that would like a high potion. Indeed, this is the guy who really wants a high potion. There you go. Take your high potion. I don't want it. I'm just gonna get this necklace and put it on, probably. I don't want the helm of light. So once again, we're gonna do this thing. Here we just put on the necklace. Cause we don't want the helmet fight. We just want our nice feather. Dear friends, this is where repose comes in handy. Puts them to sleep for like 30 seconds. That's like plenty of time to like gather the equipment. Yeah, there we 
go. Not that hard. Now I just run away from these people. Oh, a blue quest. We're gonna pick this up while we're here, but we're not gonna really worry about it until we have to go over there. <coughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but are you not an adventurer? I've seen you do running to and fro, face set in grim determination as adventurers are wont to do. Hence my presumptions, if so, of information which might interest you. Rumor has it that plots within the lavender beds are to be auctioned off. What's more, bidders not, need not even be Gridanian. Any old adventurer or wandering minstrel could, with sufficient funds, purchase land and build their own home. Considering how discerning the elementals tend to be about who and who cannot decide within the twelve wood, it's rather surprising, if not hard, to believe. But if there is truth to these rumors, well, who hasn't dreamed of owning their own forest cottage, perhaps with a small vegetable garden and a stable large enough for a chokebo to, or two? You know, should your travels take you to the mirror planks where the fairy to the lavender beds is? Perhaps you'll find a twin adder representative who can tell you more. I would be shocked if there wasn't, if there weren't involved in such a monumental change in policy. Did I just jump? I just jumped from the thing without attuning to it, didn't I? Oh, I'm already attuned to it. Fantastic. Like better than nothing. I think I just ruined my my partner just sent me a joke. I think I just ruined it. Uh, gotta keep them on their toes. It's fine. about that.
gotta go kill some of these. Oh, we got a raise. Woo! If only that was a raise in our guild that we're getting. We barely got like a thousand to this day. I did ruin their joke. For those who want to know, uh, they asked me what kind of glasses ghosts wear. And I said, spectacles. And they said, spectacles. And I'm like, honey, spectacles makes more sense because they're spectacles. When you find funny, you can either leave an answer in the comments or in the chat right now. Which one you like? We'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. It's my favorite thing to do is being able to run up random cliffs. Ah, we're not gonna worry too much about our earrings because this this one's gonna stick with us. When we're level eight. It's over level 80. <laughs> we can use regular ones! I was hoping we could just jump over that, but uh, yeah. Yeah. 
Guess may I assist you with some matter? Well, I found your shit for you. Oh, what? This is the equipment I left with the soldiers of Bannock. Flood at the first sight of danger, you see, say? See, while all is not lost, it appears that the recruit managed to complete the surveying assignment. The records are actually quite detailed. Was a change just wrought by the calamity? I thought it was to send the order of the Twin Adder on a normal, a number of expeditions to the map, to map the regions. Topography is fortunate would have it. The officers saw these tasks as an excellent opportunity to train air inexperienced soldiers. We can no longer rely on our past knowledge of the Twelves Wood. If we are to survive these troubled times, we must reacquaint ourselves with our surroundings, so that we may better discern the threats we face. Stay vigilant, adventure. Is this the one where I... Uh, yeah, no. We ain't doing that. Although I do want to try on this one. You look poofy. I hesitate to ask to make such a dangerous request, but might you assist us in thinning the number of animals on Naked Rock? In our efforts to commune with the elementals, we conjurers often find ourselves in the area of light. However, our meditations, our mediations have all too frequently been interrupted by unprovoked anole attack. Anole <laughs> attacks. Truly, the beasts grow more aggressive by the day. Their numbers have continued to grow since the advent of the Seventh Umbral Era. You see, forcing packs of the scale kin to come down from the mountains in search of food. If you could slay a handful of beasts, that should lessen their need to hunt. And also serve as a warning to the Anoles to remain within their territory. But I am afraid you must do more than thin the existing population. If we are to truly break from the spiraling growth, we must target their future offspring. Bring me one of their eggs and you will have played your part in returning the balance of the area in this forest. Grab one egg. Just, just one egg. Egg. Purple means that there's a bad thing gonna happen. Murder! Oh yeah, slide to the left. Slide to the right. Crisscross. Never stop there. Before copyright infringement. Talk to him. Uh, sure, I will take your gloves. area. Get some poison. 
Your poison's hurt. Some poison we can handle. To crush your enemies. This is a good lot. person who I successfully kill it's myself, so yeah. How there is an egg up here. So we're gonna try to. Okay, we're not gonna sneak past this. So we're gonna do our invaluable method of sneaking past. It's called an amp time. Ripple's Grab the egg. And then we run! Let's talk. Ah, uh, you have returned. Now that now my, my brothers and sisters continue their meditations undisturbed, you have my thanks. As for the egg, may I ask you to deliver it to Shoop Shimon? Nope. Right. Call him Soup? Soup? Nope, that's not it. I bet. And all eggs are both large and full of nutrients. The perfect meal for a soldier. She will be more than a little pleased to see you, I should imagine. Yeah. I never want to. Names are hard, okay? Where is the place? And I turn to this, this quest into. I'm supposed to talk to, like, this. Person. Oh, they're outside, duh. There we go. We 
get it. We're going back to Binnock. Goes there. Oh, Dossie, it's you. Hmm, another delivery. Egg. I'm not certain I should be the one to buy Nafika. That's an anoli egg. The troops will be glad indeed to see one of these at the table. And you say, here, Pauline sent you on this errand? I hear the anolis are more numerous than ever, yet you appear to manage the task with your skin intact. Your skin